question for Trevor. Trevor, how did it feel being back out there today? It's good. It feels good to be back. Oh, we got a good group. It's different, you know. Spring, the first spring practice is always kind of weird because you see all the guys that are all the, time, all the guys that are gone, and then the guys that just got here. So it's a lot of fun though getting back to work, and then especially just you know after last season, great season didn't end the way we wanted. So it's good to get back out here and get did, to work again. Did it take you? I don't know. I'm, I'm sure you never thought that you go undefeated during your college career, but did it take you a little time to get your equilibrium back after the LSU game, or did you put it behind you right away? No, it takes, I think any time after a game like that especially, it takes a little while to you know, let it sink in and kind of move on. So it took me it took me a little while, especially just you know the way it happened in the national championship and you know you work all year to get there. So it's it's hard, especially you know knowing you're not going to play with some of those guys again. But yeah, I mean probably a couple of weeks and then you start to kind of get back in. Okay, let's let's get back started again. What did you learn from that adversity that you think maybe you needed to learn or maybe that's going to help you going forward to be a better player? Just I mean I feel like I've just through my two years, I've just been through like every different situation you could be in. Uh, just getting more and more perspective, I think is the biggest thing. But then, like, yeah, going through some adversity, I hadn't gone through much. You know, it's the only game uh, I've lost since I've been here. So it's uh, definitely gives you some more perspective and you appreciate all the little things. And uh, just, it makes you want to go back and work even harder, though, to get back there and uh, have a chance at that moment again. What have you done to work harder so far? Just in the weight room, keep getting stronger, gaining weight. Like I said that every year, that's always something for me that's important. But, uh, and then just leadership, just being a better leader. You know, I think I did a good job last year, but just kind of, you know, up in that role a little bit as a, as an older guy now, upperclassman. So, just being a better leader, and uh, I mean, I've always worked hard. You know, try to be the example, but just be a little bit more outspoken and uh, all those things. What was your reaction when you heard Travis was coming back? A lot of people were a little bit surprised by that, and what yeah. he brings to this offense when he's here. Obviously, I was I was happy. Uh, we we talked a little bit. Uh, I can't remember exactly when. And it, you know, we just kind of had some private conversations before he decided what he was going to do. So I kind of thought, you know, he might come back, but I wasn't sure. I thought he'd end up last second deciding he was leaving. But, man, it's awesome to have him back, obviously. He's spoke, speaking for himself what he's done. and um, But just just a great guy. I think it's, it's a good opportunity for him to, you know, build his leadership. Um, and then he is, I mean, everyone's looking at him now, especially on this team. You know, he's a big leader for us. And uh, I think it will be good for him to come back, grow a little bit more, you know, work on this game, and then also get another chance to go win a national championship. So officially hitting the restart button today, any different feeling coming off a national championship as opposed to now coming off not only a loss, but you know, a poor performance really for you individually against LSU? I mean, yeah, it's just, uh, like I said, just makes you want to go back out there and earn it even more. You know, it all starts over, which is a good feeling. You know, everyone's already looking at next year, so we feel like we're back in the fight and you can kind of work to get where you want to now. So it's uh, just taking it day by day, though. You know, it's going to be a long off season and a lot of time to get ready. So just taking it one day at a time and really maximizing each day. What did you see from DJ today and your relationship yeah. with him over the last several weeks? Yeah, he looks good. I mean, I think just kind of the way he carries himself, I feel like we're similar in that way. So we got a good relationship. And um, just obviously, he's a great player. He's picking it up quick. That's the one thing I can tell is just you know, he knows football, he, he gets it, clicks quick with them, even though he doesn't know all the plays yet. When he sees them once or twice, he's already kind of learning them and getting them down. So it's really smart, just a natural, you know, he's got a knack for the game, so he's, he's going to be great. When you were a big guy yourself, what did you first think of him when you saw him for the first time? I mean, yeah. for an 18-year-old kid at, what, 235, 40 pounds? Yeah, him. I mean, he's huge. I mean, he's full grown already. He doesn't have to put on any weight or anything. So it's a little different for me, but, uh, man, he's obviously he's great. Great player, great guy. Trevor, have you uh, followed any of that Joe Burrow stuff at the Combine? And do you, do you allow yourself to think, well, one day I'm going to be picked over like that when I uh, when it's my time? I don't even really think about it. I don't watch most of the stuff. You know, I yeah. see through social media, I see a lot of the, I guess, like articles or whatever. Right, maybe, the uh, nine inch. Yeah, the nine yeah, inch yeah that stuff. Or... But, you know, I don't really pay too much attention to it. It's, uh, it's cool. I mean, I like to pay attention to the guys that were here. That, yeah. You know, I'll watch them at the Combine and obviously when they get drafted. But I don't really pay too much attention to it. So you haven't started to think about your own future beyond uh, Clemson? I mean, yeah, I think about it a little bit and, you know, the possibilities of the future. But um, especially not now, not too much now. We're getting right. back going. You know, that's something you can think about when the season's over. And then for me, I mean, I still got at least one more year every two. So it's just it's still a ways away. You know, you kind of have to start thinking about things. but. Uh, also being smart, just being in the moment and really enjoying it now too. What's your academic status? Are you on track to? Yeah, yeah, I'll graduate in December. So yeah. that'll kind of leave it open for, right. you know, whatever's the best for me, so, yep.
Anything else? Good. Trevor, going into this season, how do you guys, I guess, tell the balance of putting last season behind you but also allowing the sting of that loss to kind of feel you going into 2020? Yeah, it's, it's both for sure. I mean, but we're still, you know, we're proud of what we did. You know, it sucks the way it ended, but still a lot of work and a lot of, I mean, a lot of time spent here preparing, and I feel like we all, we gave it our all, you know. We did our best, and um, it's tough with a game like that, obviously, but we're still proud of what we did. But definitely with that sting, we want to build on it and give us that extra edge to make sure we're not leaving anything on the table like, like we did last year. You know, with, uh, with hindsight, six weeks out now, have you looked at film and said, well, it was what LSU did to us and me, or maybe I wasn't as crisp as I usually am? It was it was a combination of a lot of things. And when I say we did our best, I meant like we prepared our best yeah. and, you know, good effort, all that things. I didn't play my best, that's not what I meant. But uh yeah, I mean there's a lot of things. L S U played well, you know, they did some things defensively that were really good and then also just, you know, wasn't my best game. You know, missed some throws, uh down the stretch, missed some some big throws. So that's just, you know, comes down to that and then a lot of little details that are just things you only know if you're a part of this offense. So just little things and just overall not syncing up well with offense and defense together. So that just wasn't our night. I mean, your attitude here since we've known you and talked to you has been, you know, I could throw for 400 yards and I'm going to be exactly the same person that I've been. Does that help? Did that help the aftermath, that attitude, in just kind of getting yourself right and ready? For sure. I mean, it didn't it didn't change how I'd, I would have responded, whether we won or lost. You know, it's uh, it is a different feeling, though. It's uh, it's almost easier to come back after you, you lose that game. You're ready to get started again. You know, when you win it, you're like, all right, let's let the off season be like another week longer to enjoy it. But you're ready to get back, especially when you lose in that last game. So, but no, I mean, that's just the way I want to be. It's just consistent and you know, never really go up and down. Um, yeah. stay, be the same person. And after that loss, just trying to be that guy in the locker room. You know, it's obviously tough for us. And then Coach Sweeney was saying that he kind of enjoys the short turnaround from the end of the season to the beginning of this one because yeah. it sort of lets you take your mind out of it and you just focus on the next thing ahead. Is it, do you take that same mentality or do you kind of wish maybe you had an extra week or so to get in between things? No, it's been nice, especially uh, we've been doing mat drills, which are a lot <laughs> harder than spring practice, so it's good to be out of those. But no, it's been, like I said, especially after the way the season ended, it's been good. You know, we had, I think we had two weeks off. Just kind of let, it, you know, let that sink in and just get ourselves back together, recover our bodies, everything. And then get back to lifting and then go to mat drills and spring practice. And it just all flows together good. And then we start so early, so we finish up a little earlier than everyone. So we get a little break before the summer. So, I mean, it all works out. And uh, I think it's really good to get back out here and, and get the young guys involved and get them going quick before it's, you know, March. With DJ, how much has he been trying to pick your brain and learn from you? And are you kind of taking him on your point? For sure, yeah, we've met, um, obviously we've been meeting as quarterbacks as an offense a few times together, but uh, I've taken the QBs in there probably a couple times a week and just get in there and start looking at some of the install because it comes quick, you know, when practice starts, it just starts piling. So just trying to get, you know, him started on that and get him thinking before it gets here. So we've, we've done a lot of that. Like I said, he's picking it up quick. He's going to get it. And it's just a matter of practicing and, rep and repping it, you know. Uh, it's not going to be perfect in the spring. You know, I went through the same thing. So just practicing it, and he'll get better every day. So it was like the day after the national championship, really looking forward to spring practice, what to happen was it a couple more days? Yeah, that's probably a couple more days, you know, kind of feeling that loss for a little while, for probably about a week, and then you're, you know, you're kind of sitting around and school's already going, so you're having to do school work, and you're like, all right, I'm ready to get back working and, you know, get back with this new team and, and start building something. All right, thank you, Trevor. Thank you.